Hello friends, uh, today in this session we are going to uh, discuss about creating a custom directives and we are going to see about host li listener and host binding in directives. Okay. As uh, discussed earlier, directives are nothing but yeah, instruction to the DOM. So it is like a uh, uh, yeah, button. Okay, it instructs the HTML to uh, produce something like a button. Okay. Likewise, directives are some uh, we are uh, through Angular we are adding the syntax in the HTML. So whenever you put this directive into your DOM element, we are uh, adding the functionality for that element. Maybe we are uh, making uh, adding a color or adding a style or uh, when it clicked what needs to happen that logic we are writing by means of a directive so it uh, it is a extra instruction to the dom okay when you add this uh, it is means of adding a extra syntax to html okay so let us see how to create a custom directive in uh, angular before we would have seen all angular directives, structural attribute directives, ng if, ng for, ng style, ng class. Okay, those all are given by angular. In the similar manner, you can yourself write your own directives. We will see now how to write a directive, a custom directive. So we can also create using CLI. So, but this time let us create ourselves. We will write the complete file. So for that, we will go to the app and create a new file. Make it simple highlight dot directive dot ts. Okay, just for you to understand that it is a directive. I will make it basic. It is. Okay, it is complaining that it is already uh, existing. Okay, let me make it basic. Uh, basic highlight directive dot html. So uh, in any uh, file, ts file in uh, Angular, we have to write a class. So let me write a class. Export class. Maybe uh, I will write it as basic highlight. Okay basic highlight that's it so this is simple class now how to make it a directive you have to add the decorator right so i will write uh, uh, add a direct decorator okay from so you have to do it directive from angular code and you have to configure that directive how you will configure by means of a yeah, object Okay. Okay. So right, uh, right here, if you see, uh, this is a simple application created by Angular CLI, and I, uh, <coughs> by means of app app component dot HTML, I have created a simple input file. Okay. So what I need to do is, so our uh, aim for custom directive is. Yes, uh, I need to change the background color as yellow. Okay. So uh, I have to write the logic to make this input button, input text as a background color as yellow. How we can do it using directive? That will be our uh, work in the directive, our logic in the directive. So this is what we have in the app component.html. That's what we are able to see in our browser okay so let me add the directive for achieving this so you have to have a selector anyway you have to have a selector and within quotes you need to mention when this di directive need to be instantiated so i will say that whenever any dom element has basic highlight in its attribute this directive should be instantiated so whatever this be your name and um, why we are getting error here so the error was uh, having a semicolon there 
so uh, this is a class decorator so you are not supposed to end so it was showing error so once i delete that semicolon the error is gone now uh, we have created a directive we have not written any logic when we put this decorate directive inside a uh, app element nothing will happen because we have not written any logic so we will write the logic for that so what i want to do is so let me add this element first so you need to mention this bracket because it is an attribute directive so we have to mention this bracket whenever you write a yeah, custom directive okay i want to make the background color as yellow so let me put this directive in app component dot html why i am putting it here because this is the dom element i am interested to change the background color okay so i have put it inside basically whether is this enough for uh, the changes no we have just uh, uh said that uh, we have defined a selector for the directive and we have put the selector in the corresponding dom element where i am interested to change the background color but uh, we have never said to angular that this is a directive whenever you find this you do this so we have not uh, given any instruction to the angular for instructing angular that uh, this is a directive i uh, declared and whenever you come across this directive do this specific thing so for that you have to add uh, this directive in the ng models whatever you write that has to be declared in ng model so that you have to inform angular what you are doing okay so let me put it inside this app module so just go inside and so i will try to use the help of ide for doing that so the ide has put it has created imported the uh, created the path for me okay so now i have informed that it is a directive to angular and next thing is i need to write a logic for converting the background color so uh, i will write a constructor here for uh, change the background color i need the element reference of the host element the dom element where this directive is placed right i need that uh, dom so that i can change the style so for that what i will do i will ask angular to inject the element reference of the host element where this directive is placed so ref okay i have got it now uh, the angular will inject it for me so i will also make it basic so that it creates a instance variable named element reference automatically okay and uh, it has created the element reference now i can use it but uh, in in uh, constructor we should not change the background color because that is not a right practice it is always better to do it in the life cycle hook that is on ng on in it okay just do this in ng on it when the component is initialized what i am doing is i will change the background color how i will change it is by so before doing that i will just show you that console log what is element reference okay so that it is easier for you to understand so this should be calling this ng on it should likewise for component directive also has all the life cycle hoots of a component like ng on it ng destroy and ng on view in it so there are many life cycle hoots okay let me see this console in the 
browser let me inspect and see that so you are able to see the element reference of this input element so if you go inside and see using this you can change the background color okay you will see this submit and everything it is a dom element element reference of the dom where it is being placed okay you will see all that value submit and everything you will be able to access so using this i am going to change the background color okay so how i will do it like this dot element reference dot style dot sorry i missed native element dot style background color i will change it to yellow so now I, now i have done it let me see whether something happened in the browser so super i i we got that background color we have changed the background color of the input dom element to yellow so we have successfully created the created a custom directive so um, so uh, other thing is like uh, it is an attribute directive so, uh, since since we already uh, if you take ng class and all ng class and ng style we uh, we we put it inside this brackets right we are, we were given a, we were put in the directive inside brackets since we have already put that bracket in the selector no no need to mention the brackets here okay since in the directive itself we have put it in inside brackets no need to mention the bracket here so now you see uh, i create something any uh, i will create yeah another input button okay maybe press me it's why z so many uh, i've created three buttons but uh, you are able to add the style background color just by putting the directive right just uh, put the directive now if you see in the browser all the background colors will be in yellow in color just by putting the directive we are able to achieve what we want right so you you uh, i think hope you can understand the power of your directive thank you